In addition to setting fill colors, we can also set outline colors for our shapes and our objects here in Corel. So by default, our shapes have a fill color of nothing and an outline color of black. So you can see my shape here has that outlined edge there in black. Now, what you may want to do if you're following me along here is you might want to grab your zoom tool over inside the toolbox and zoom in on your shape because that outline is pretty thin. It's going to be pretty hard to see otherwise. So zoom in nice and close there. Now, there's lots of different ways to go about changing your outline color. I'll definitely show you each here. What I'll do first is I'll head over to the good old trusty object properties panel. So I'll fly this guy open. You're already comfortable with the fill tab, I hope, but let's make our way over to the outline tab. Look for that little pen nib tab. Okay, inside the outline tab, we have lots of options here. We have the width of our line, which we'll talk about in a little while. We have the style of our line. We'll talk about that as well. But really, I'm only concerned with the outline color at this point, which appears as this little drop-down area or this drop-down box here inside the object property docker. So now I can go and choose a different outline color just like this. And of course, you can see my changes being reflected there over inside my document. Now, don't forget, this is a scroll box. So you can scroll up and down, go and find the exact color that you're after, whatever that color may be. And that's really all there is to it. It's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. However, I've got to show you an even faster way to work when you go about changing your outline colors. So what I'll do here is I'll collapse down the object properties panel. And don't forget, we have this color column or this color palette over on the right hand side. And you know already that you can single click on these color blocks to change the fill color on your object. But what's really neat is I can right click on these guys to change the stroke color or the outline color really I should say. So single clicking with the left mouse button changes the fill color. Right clicking on these items changes the outline color. Nice and fast. A nice fast way to work there for you. Once again you can use the arrow at the bottom of the palette to fly the palette out so now you can see all of your colors so you don't have to scroll. You can go and right click on the color that you want to use for the outline of your shape just like that all right very cool i want to show you yet another way to go about changing your outline colors here inside corel so make sure that your object is selected on your page whatever that object may be and down at the bottom of the toolbox you already saw the fill option but we also have an outline option as well this pen nib icon go ahead and click on that guy now there's lots and lots of settings here inside this flyout. The one that I'm after is outline color. Go ahead and choose that. And lo and behold, we wind up inside the same dialog box that we were in in the previous lesson when we were setting up our fill color. So it's exactly the same dialog box, except it's going to now be changing the outline color, right? So once again, I think what I'll do is I'll stick with the models tab. If you like that mixers tab, go for it. But I'm gonna stay on models here. Grab my vertical slider. Again, don't forget, it always starts in this vertical column here, this color ramp here. Drag down into maybe about halfway between my yellows and my oranges there. Maybe about in there somewhere. And then I can go after that mustard color. Maybe, actually, right in there I think is about good. Don't forget, we have the color reference. There's the old color and the new color. I'll go ahead and click on OK. And, of course, my mustard yellow gets applied to the outline of my shape. To change your